All these thoughts keep me up at night, yeah. In the lead-up to the highly anticipated 180th Soweto Derby, the South African soccer fraternity found itself gripped by a palpable sense of anticipation and tension. With both sets of fans eagerly awaiting the clash between arch-rivals Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs, the stakes could not have been higher. For Pirates supporters, buoyed by their team's recent form and a victory in the previous derby, optimism ran high with hopes of extending their dominance over their rivals. On the flip side, Kaiser Chiefs fans approached the fixture with a sense of trepidation, their team languishing in the shadows of a prolonged trophy drought spanning nine years, heading into a daunting tenth year. The atmosphere surrounding the derby was electric, as fans from both camps descended upon the iconic FNB Stadium, filling its 94,000 seats to capacity. Hopes were high, expectations lofty. But as the final whistle blew and the scoreboard flashed a disappointing 3-2 defeat for Kaiser Chiefs, the air was thick with disbelief and disappointment. Despite taking the lead twice, Chiefs had faltered, surrendering their advantage and succumbing to their bitter rivals in a gut-wrenching loss. Among the sea of despondent faces, one figure stood out in his anguish. Brandon Peterson the goalkeeper who had found himself relegated to the role of second choice behind Bruce Bavuma. A video circulating on social media captured Peterson's palpable frustration as he confronted Chiefs coach, Cavan Johnson, his words dripping with anger and resentment. Peterson's outburst left many speculating about the rift between player and coach, with questions swirling about the underlying tensions simmering within the team. Addressing the media in the aftermath of the defeat, Johnson appeared unfazed by the incident, brushing off concerns and emphasizing the importance of players expressing their frustrations in the face of adversity. In a defiant stance, Johnson welcomed the scrutiny and asserted his willingness to confront any issues head-on, viewing it as an integral part of the team's growth and development. However, the incident involving Peterson was not an isolated occurrence, but rather the latest in a series of incidents casting doubt on Johnson's authority in the dressing room. From Yusuf Mart's dismissive refusal to shake Johnson's hand in a match against Swallows, to Puglia Modi's public questioning of the coaching staff's decisions during a game against Arrows, and now Peterson's vocal confrontation, the signs of discontent were glaringly apparent. The erosion of respect and faith in Johnson's leadership was becoming increasingly conspicuous, raising concerns about his ability to command the respect and loyalty of his players. As the murmurs of discontent grew louder within the footballing community, the spotlight shifted to Johnson and his capacity to navigate the turbulent waters of team management amidst mounting pressure and scrutiny.